Hi everyone, welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca. Today's card is another really simple one. I love to take uh, projects and kind of simplify them down so you don't need a ton of supplies and you can do them in a, just a little bit of time. So that's gonna be our project today also. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, for every video I put out on YouTube, I have a corresponding blog post where you can see extra photos, you can get all the measurements. I want you to make these at home. So I give you all the measurements, the full list of supplies um, so that you can just have confidence to do this at home and sit back and enjoy the video. So here's a close-up of our project. It's a really simple card, but I think it has a few things that just really make it pop um, and just gives that wow without a ton of stuff going on. One of the things is tone on tone. We're going to use the same color cardstock as the ink, and it's just going to give us that subtle background so that when we put our sentiment on there, it's just going to wow. Now, I'm using heat embossing for this to get this really deep white. Um, you could also use the craft white paint uh, uh, ink pad. You're not gonna get that raised um, uh, look to it, but it'll be similar. Uh, another thing is if you don't have the heat embossing or don't want to go that route, you can do black on white. Now, one thing that I did is I just have a little bit of white around it. Now, normally we don't layer in white, so I thought, hey, that's something different that'll just give it that wow. I also didn't put it all the way around. I just wanted to have a touch of it to bring in the white in the words. I'm gonna show you how to create this little decoration for your envelope also. Now we're just going to be using one stamp set, the textured floral, which is going to be amazing if you are a beginner stamper um, because you're going to be able to make easy, easy cards. Um, very, uh, You're just going to have success a lot with this stamp set. I love it. Um, it's got some good sentiments in here. Now if you're um, someone who loves to have the die cuts, this does come in a bundle. We're not going to be using the die sets today, but look at all the amazing things in there. But so if you like to buy the stamp and die set together with that 10% uh, bundle price, do that when you when you purchase this stamp set, even though we're not using it on this on this project. Now, the one more thing that makes this card just wow is that when you open it, it's got colors on the inside, which I just, I love having that wow factor on the inside when somebody opens that up. So in addition to our uh, berry burst, which is gonna match our cardstock, we just need to add a green ink for uh, the leaves and then a bit of black, which you can put a sentiment in here, but also filling in those flowers with black just gives it that just that pop of color to make it really crisp. So you can see you don't need that much to make this card. You need a great stamp set, a couple of inks with the matching cardstock. I am gonna do heat embossing that is extra supplies and I'll have all those listed out and show you how to do that. But you could just use your black ink here on a piece of white. Now you may have noticed this super cute edging here. We are gonna use the Happy Labels die to um, for our greeting on the front, but also this is what we're gonna use to give it this really super cool edge on our envelope tape. Now grab yourself some scrap paper. I also like to stamp on the stamp and pierce mat. That is totally optional. So now you're gonna just put your uh, stamps on some blocks so we can get stamping here. Um, I do, make sure you have some scrap paper because we are gonna stamp off. And I also like to stamp on this stamp and pierce mat. This is an optional little thing, but I like to do it. So we're stamping tone on tone, same color of ink with the cardstock. And we're just creating just a, a background for that greeting to really make it pop. So we're taking uh, just some of the pieces of that stamp set, rotating them around um, so that they aren't all the same direction. And then it's got this little tiny flower too. Now you can see that this little flower, I'm not stamping it off, but it is lighter and that's on pur purpose. These are called distinctive where they, they give a little um, variation in, in the ink saturation of the stamp to just make it uh, just really look more realistic, I guess. It comes with this great uh, splatter of color, so you don't have to be flicking your uh, <laughs> markers or paints to make this uh, have that splatter effect. So I love, I love when stamp sets include something like this. 
Yeah, I really don't like messy. So when we when a stamp set has those little splatters, I just love, I love it. Okay, now you're gonna grab your um, let's see. Whoa, oh, I've got ink on me. You're gonna grab your smaller of your two uh, white papers. Now all of the measurements for these are on my website. My email subscribers will get this print and make project sheet with um the measurements right on here, some written instructions. Oh, I added this QR code. Y'all let me know <laughs> if you like that because I realize when you print this out, you may not be by your computer. So now you can scan your phone on here and it'll take you to the video and to the um, additional photos. And I've got the supply list on the back here. If you'd like this and you aren't an email subscriber, go ahead and sign up. Um, and if it's past the time that I've done this project, just ask me for it and I will email it to you. All right, so now we're just gonna stamp. This is on the inside of our card. Oh, I should have stamped that big uh, flower so it was a little off the paper. That's okay, we'll make sure the leaves go off the paper there. And we're gonna add just a few more. I just want a little bit more green coming off here. Let's see. There, that's good. Okay, now we'll add a couple of these flowers, but let's not make them the same uh, color as our big flower. Let's stamp them off. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at me, I'm getting, okay, okay, what do we do? You know what? Oh, where's that splatter stamp? I got ink all over me, smudged it on here. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna put that splatter stamp right over there, bam, fixed. All right, I don't like just two flowers. We need at least three, so let's add another one here. And then we'll take our small little flower and put it here. And we'll, oh look, I got another green. I'm gonna go wash my hands after this. But look, so if you have problems like me and <laughs> have ink all over you, just cover it up with this stamp. Now, we can't just leave one splatter. So we're gonna have to add just a little bit more. Let's see, where should we put these? Not too much splatter. Okay, that looks good. Now, I didn't even use all the flowers that come in this. This is a beautiful flower with the stems. There's also insides that go inside of these flowers. Um, so you can really play around this with this. We didn't use all of it. I am gonna use this tiny one to put some centers inside of this, um, these flowers. Yeah, see, that just makes it like pop right out. I do think I'll add the center inside this big flower. I go back and forth on this because I think it's so pretty just like that, but let's just add a little, let's see. Hmm, hmm, I, no, I do like that. Okay, so this is the inside of our card and it's done. Now grab your card base and on the back, before, it's, before you fold it up, just add a little touch on the back. I just think that adds a little extra special. It took you like two seconds, but it makes all the difference when somebody gets their card, I think. Lastly, you're gonna grab your one by four. Just grab one stamp. This is gonna take us two seconds also because we're just gonna use one stamp. You could use multiple stamps, but um, look, I mean, this looks so pretty and now we're not having to switch and it's just fast. Rotating that uh, stamp around to create this pretty thing. This is for our envelope. Now the last bit of stamping we need to do is the greeting. And we're gonna heat emboss this. I keep all my heat embossing stuff in this little thing. So you need to use Versamark ink. That's gonna make this sticky. Um, you need a embossing buddy. And this is going to um, prevent stray pieces of embossing powder from sticking to your paper. We're only gonna stick where we want it to stick. Embossing powders come in a pack of three. Um, this one is white, clear, and black. There's also a metallic pack, which is so pretty also, but I wanna use the white. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out and ready um, because once, once we put the ink on our paper, we wanna kinda work quickly. Not so quickly that we dump this over, that's for sure. But I've got my Simply Chamois uh, right close by because I wanna get the sticky ink off of here. So I like to bring my ink pad to my stamp when it's large like this. And I'm really making sure that it's all covered. And then I'm gonna just center it up on my paper here. And you're gonna be able to see where you stamped. Um, it's gonna leave a little, little tone on tone on itself there. And now what we're gonna do is cover this in the embossing powder. Turn it over, just tap it off. 
Now this white here is actually the cornstarch that's in that embossing buddy, so that will not stick. There we go, now we'll do the heat. No, now we won't do the heat. We've got to put this powder away. We don't want it sticking to this paper. So just get your, um, you, I just use this as a funnel just to pour this right back in the little jar. Now to set this powder, you're going to need a heat gun um, that Stampin' Up! sells. And you, what you do, I'm gonna turn this on and it's gonna make a loud noise. This is why I'm talking now. And we're just gonna, uh, go round and round with the heat so it's not in one spot because it can buckle your paper and all of a sudden you'll see that it's turning white and as soon as it turns white just move your gun down um, so that it is turning it all white once it turns white take the heat off of that section so that it still stays raised up Now we almost have all the components for our card ready. Now we just wanna make this white piece to go behind here. And it's just a triangle. Um, you could put a full sheet behind it if you don't like just that offset, but I really like that look. But I wanna give you a tip on how to cut a triangle really easily. So you're gonna take your paper and take one corner and put it in the paper trough here and hold it with your finger. And then this other side, take the opposite corner and just rotate it into the paper trough there. And now instead of putting this down and just cramming this uh, blade on top of this delicate edge, I like to sink my blade into the paper and push it up and then down. And that way the, the initial um, entry is in the middle of my paper and not on that delicate edge so that those points of the, the um, triangle stay nice and sharp instead of getting crushed. So now you have enough for two cards because I never make one card. <laughs> if I'm going to get all my stuff out, I'm going to make multiples. So I love it when I can cut two at, two at a time to save time. Okay, so now we'll glue in our the inside of our card here. And I've just got my silicone uh, mat out when I'm doing glue. This is also just an optional thing. You can use uh, paper, <laughs> but it, the glue doesn't stick to the silicone mat, which is what I really, really like. So I, cause you guys see, I'm a total disaster mess when, <laughs> when I'm crafting. I hope I'm not the only one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is take our white corner, and this is gonna go in this corner. You could also put it in the bottom, but I liked it um, opposite of, ooh, wow, check that out. I really like that too. You could emboss just this. Hmm, I'm, you guys might see this, this design later. Okay, so I the reason why I like it up in this corner is because it ties in the white from this side, kind of drawing your eye there instead of having it on the bottom corner. Okay, so let me give you a tip on how to glue this on there. So I, so it's gonna go like this. So we know we need glue in this behind this corner, the corner that has no flowers. Oh, I did wanna mention that. When you're stamping this card, make sure to keep the flowers in this area. We want, we want, dead space or, or blank space to, it just looks visually better. Okay, and then I'm just having just like less than an eighth of an inch showing of that white. Now the corners of those, um, that triangle are showing through and I, I really like that. All right, now we'll just put glue on the back of here and you see this, this uh, triangle is popped up here. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little glue underneath it. Now we've got two more things to add to our card. This goes on our envelope and this goes on the front, but we're gonna use the same punch on both of them. Um, this is the Happy Labels punch and it has kind of a ticket, ticket punch or just a scalloped punch. Um, so you can pick which one you want. I think I'll do the scalloped. Now, when you use this, um, you can shove it in like this, but I really, really like to turn mine over so I can see what is happening back here. Um, and I make sure to, um, make sure my paper is bumped up against, there's a metal edge there. So then I know I'm, I'm punching it straight. So there, doesn't that look great? And we're gonna do the same thing on here. Now I do wanna show you um, that the, our first example, see, look at that, oh, love it. Our first example with the, the other greeting that is in this card set, um, 
I, I'm going to show you how I did that edge here. I used the same thing. This is a, this is another example, the sneak peek of another example. I, I went crazy on the colors on this. Okay, sorry, I'm talking too much. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put this in here, in the back. Make sure you're looking in the back and see when a little corner is popping through, then it creates this super cute little, can you see it? Oh, can you see it? So I'm just holding it with the one hand so I can rotate it, making sure I see a little triangle of the corner like that. So you've got two, two options for the front of your card. Now that's just with this stamp set because if you wanna you know, use a different stamp set, you could take the greetings out of another one to put on here. So I'm gonna pop this up with Stampin' Dimensionals and it's just like this foam sticky stuff that makes it, um, just pop up just the slightest bit that but what's really the purpose of it is it creates a shadow underneath so that it just kind of outlines it without being too stark let me show you the other examples no i can't i keep getting ahead of myself we gotta i gotta show you how to put this on okay so turn your envelope over and we're gonna put a line of glue right along the top and so if you're sending a card right away, you could put glue all over it, but I'm, I, I'm not gonna send this out today. I'm gonna send it out later. So then you would just put glue there. But what I like to do is, so I don't have to be searching for my glue when I'm ready to send something out. I like to use a little piece of Terran tape. So this is tape that's sticky on one side and then there's a, um, a covering, a backing on the other side. That way, this is not sticky right now, but when I go to send this envelope, I'll just peel this off and close it. That way it's ready to go. <laughs> I was just throwing the, the dimensionals on the back of this to finish this card, and I wanted to show you, see, when if you mess up on one side, just flip it over and do it again. <laughs> I didn't like how this embossing uh, messed up right there. So here's the two different ways to make this card and I've got the measurements for both of those with the matching envelope and we're using that punch to create uh, embellishment on the envelope and on the greeting. This one is in Berry Burst. This one is in Pretty Peacock, which is amazing. But um, so here's the two different variations there. And I just wanted to show you if you don't like just the tape on your envelope like this, you could create a whole backing um, just like we do with designer series paper to cover the envelope flap. That's uh, pretty peacock. Then I made one in Daffodil Delight, which is just so bright and cheerful. And then Calypso Coral. Oh, I did want to show you one more thing inside the pretty peacock. You could do just uh, blue like if you didn't want to add the extra colors or you could add the colors if you like this video give me a thumbs up you can also click the subscribe button and hit the notifications so that you get alerted every time one of my new videos comes out I appreciate you watching so much have a sunny day